In this lesson, we'll begin our review of PSAT Writing Test 2, Section 2. And let's take a look at the first of four passages. This one is titled, For the Love of Coffee. Ever since introducing coffee to Italy several centuries ago, it has been a ubiquitous part of Italian culture. So question one, ever since introducing, we have this subordinate clause, and then we have this it. What's the subject here? We don't have a subject. We need to introduce it. And so introducing doesn't have a subject. They introduce, now this has a pronoun, but it's ambiguous, right? What is the they referring to? This is a, a there, a possessive, but again, we don't know to what's that referring. You need to introduce the subject right away. The answer is D, let's take a look and, and read it now. Ever since coffee was introduced to Italy several centuries ago, it, the coffee, has been a ubiquitous part of Italian culture. Ubiquitous, by the way, means very prevalent. It's, uh, it's everywhere, all around. However, coffee is so central to Italian culture that one cannot visit any city or town in Italy without seeing several coffee houses called cafetieri in Italian. Such coffee houses have existed since 1640 when the first was established in Venice and it has since become a part of Italy's national identity. So we have a couple of questions. Two is a transitional question. However, that indicates contrast. Coffee is so central in the first sentence, though, we read that it's ubiquitous. It, it's a prevalent part of the culture, and it's so central. This is reinforcing the first sentence. It's not giving contrast. And so you should recognize to reinforce a point that's already been made, we need in fact. Another word they use is indeed, which is pretty synonymous. synonymous. It just reinforces or highlights a point made earlier. Such coffee houses have existed since 1640, when the first was established in Venice, and it has since become part of Italy's national identity. So here we have such coffee houses have existed, comma, when the first was established in Venice, get in the habit of crossing out non-essential clauses. It'll help link the sentence. This is just extra information, doesn't change the meaning. Such coffee houses have existed since 1640, and it, the subject is coffee houses, plural. So we can't have an it that's singular. We need a plural. It's they, is it have or had, well, had is called the past perfect. It means it no longer occurs. Have means that it's still continuing today. And that's really the point that it's still so central. It, it's ongoing. And so it's they to agree with coffee houses. And then we want the present perfect have. All right. And let's take a look. I'm going to scroll down here. It is not uncommon in Italy for people to make two or three trips a day to their favorite cafeteria. And often people are so selective about their coffee that they will only frequent one establishment. But it is not simply the coffee that creates such enthusiasm for coffee houses among those which love them. The social aspect of cafeteria may play nearly as great a role in the coffee itself. And so question four, among those which love them. All right, so those referring to the enthusiast, the people, Whenever you're using a relative pronoun for people, you always are going to use who, which is inanimate. If there were an objective case or a preposition, we'd use whom, but we're just referring to those who. And then we've got love them, okay? So those is plural. Remember, this and that are singular, those and these, those referring to people, so that's plural, so love is the correct verb. If it were a singular subject, it would be loves, but those, plural, who love them, and so the answer here is C. Each cafeteria functions as a social hub in its neighborhood, and the way in which most patrons consume their coffee contribute to this fact. This looks like subject verb agreement. The way in which most patrons consume their coffee contribute. So what contributes to the fact? It's, you should recognize here, it's not the patrons, right? It's the way in which is a prepositional phrase and these don't count in determining the subject. And so the subject is way, the way, in which most patrons consume their coffee contributes because it's singular. And so we have to add an S here to be in agreement and the answer is B. Few cafeteria patrons sit at tables since most coffee houses in Italy charge a premium for table service. Although sometimes it's worth the cost to sit and rest, nor can patrons take their drinks elsewhere to 
Go cups are not available at typical coffee houses. So I'm just gonna do number six and I'll stop this video. So here we want which choice gives an example that most clearly supports the statement made earlier in the sentence. And so earlier in the sentence, few cafeteria patrons sit at tables since coffee houses in Italy, they charge a premium, an extra amount for table service. So we want an example that would highlight this premium. This is an evidence-based question. Sometimes it's worth the cost. That doesn't give evidence of the premium. A fee can, that can amount to three or four times as much as the price per drink. This really gives evidence how expensive it is. It's three or four times the drink. This is certainly a premium. And so this answer is B, which can come as a surprise. Again, that's not evidence of the premium or simply means being waited on your table. So just pay attention to these evidence-based questions. As soon as you read this first sentence, we need evidence of a premium and that would be B, explaining how much the fee can be.